If you had to create the perfect show for In Flames, like you could choose, you could create it all, like choosing the crowd, the country, the venue, the city, whatever, you could create everything. How would this this show look like? <laughs> that's that's you know, uh, I don't want to piss people off here, <laughs> you know. Um, I don't know really. I mean, it's uh, depends on all the uh, what kind of uh, circumstances there are, you know. But you're saying anywhere in the world with all the specifics we like. I say, I'd say I'd like to play in. Um, I think I'd choose. It's a really hard question. <laughs> I think I'm gonna choose our hometown, Gothenburg. Because it's, and I don't want to, I want to, you know, be beamed in, as in Star Trek, I want to be beamed into the show like five minutes before, because I don't want to, you know, spend the, the day in Gothenburg before a show, because then you get all these calls from people that you know that want to, or that you knew actually, you know, your uh, ex uh, school friends, uh, brothers, uh, cousins, whatever, <laughs> you know, uh, who wants to get in, and I, I'd rather avoid all that. But uh, we play in Gothenburg and we play it at, um, at the Ullevi, I'd say, the biggest outdoor venue uh, we have. Sun should slightly go down, so 9, 10 in the evening, warm summer night. And, oh, yeah. <laughs> How would you describe the evolution of Inflamed from the beginning till now? Should be a hard question. But. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's all been very natural. Uh, I joined the band in 97, so before that I can't really describe because I wasn't in it but uh, since I joined um, we've just been writing music that we love you know we've never stopped being influenced by anything really uh, I know a lot of other bands they just you know they get influenced by the type of music they play they say, so they say at least uh, we get influenced by anything and uh, we've been writing music for all these years and just trying to to, to be sort of innovative you know not do the same thing twice and uh, make the music fresh for us and interesting because we are going to go out and play these songs you know you know thousands of times and uh, it needs to be fun to play and that's what we all that's the only thing that we always thought about you know to be uh, to evolve all right. yeah but with this evolution you get a lot of new fans coming in but you have also some dudes saying like I prefer old in flames yeah. kind of so how do you react about that because this is basically a reproach that I've made to many, many bands. Like, I preferred old stuff, so... Yeah. Well, I understand it. I mean, I, I'm a music fan myself, and I have a lot of bands that I love, but I might not like what they do now, you know? Yeah. Uh, I might like what they do in a few years. You know, it doesn't really matter, but they do what they do, and uh, I have a bigger understanding for it, you know, because um, I'm being a musician myself, and like I said, uh, we want to evolve. We don't want to do the same thing twice. and neither does the band that I like so uh, it's sad that people think this but I, I have you know complete understanding and uh, the only thing I can say if you don't like it don't listen to it you know. right, well, sounds good. on the same kind of subject I'd like to have your opinion on the fact that you know sometimes you have like people saying oh this shit is too commercial you should listen to some more underground music this, this band is too commercial too commercial what is your opinion about this I think complaint it's, no, I, I don't really care, you know. And I know that's what really we annoying. do. But you know, by the end of the day, we can all, uh, in, in flames, we can all look yourself in the mirror, you know, and see yeah. that we, we only did what we wanted to do. We never listened to any managers, or any record companies, or somebody who wanted us to be more commercial. Because there are always people around you that that you know who want to affect what you do. And I think that um, since we only listen to us five. It's just bullshit that we're being commercial. You know, we we just do what we want to do, and um, you know, if it gets more attention on TV and radio, that's great because then that proves that if you do only what you want to do, yeah. it's still gonna you know reach out to people, and to media and whatever. You know. Yeah, but like for example, the the fan, the, well, not the fans necessarily, but just metalheads kids saying that. You know, this is basically a war between kids listening to those bands and kids oh, yeah. listening to those bands. You know, they it's just been like that, yeah, I know, but yeah. I just wanted to have your opinion about that because that's it's kind of divides the music because we're basically listening to the same music, yeah. and then just fighting and for no apparent reason except the fact that you know this band is more commercial. You're listening to it. It's like you just so. said it it's for no apparent reason, so it's really unnecessary. You know, it's yeah. it's so much it's so 
easy to sit on uh, you know internet or whatever and and write how this band sucks or they sold yeah, out or they it. commercialized or whatever and it's really easy to sit there and call somebody you know some bad words because you're protected behind a computer but if people were to meet and discuss this i'm sure people they would all find out that you know they are pretty much of the same opinion and uh, just stop caring what anybody else thinks just your your only uh, the only opinion that matters is your own right what was your last uh, intense, stressful moment that you remember? Like how? What do you mean? Like, like really, like a huge moment of stress for no reason, like before a show, before anything. Oh, uh, music related only, or yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. No, I don't want to get into your personal <laughs> life. Oh yeah. Um, good question. Um, I don't know. I try never to be stressed before before stage because it doesn't really help anything. Of course, I, I get. You can't really control it. No, that's true. That's true. Um, I don't know. Uh, to be honest, now I have no clue. <laughs> I've, the last couple of years, we have. I mean, I've learned to just go with the flow. You know, just relax. I try to warm up. I try to do all my exercises. Uh, you know, have a couple of beers, maybe, just to mellow down. Because at the end of the day, this is supposed to be fun. I'm not not really up there to please anybody but myself. I'm up there because I love playing music, you know, and if I get so stressed out of it, then I'm, I'm not supposed to do it. So I kind of learned not to do that. So I'm sorry. That's no, uh, not a good answer because I don't really have no, any. No, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs>